Hello and good evening, meteorologist Mike Adcock here. It's the 12th of May and we're tracking the remnants of Newell as they merge with a cold front over Japan. Also keeping an eye on severe tropical storm dolphin there in the Caroline Islands. We'll get to that in a moment, but first let's turn our attention to Newell. Uh, this did race across Okinawa earlier today. Did get some reports of power outages. Uh, seems like power is fully restored right now. Uh, no reports of deaths, although there were five minor injuries in and around uh, uh, Kagoshima. Uh, right now, three houses are reported totally destroyed with 11 partially damaged. Uh, you can get this and more information over at westernpacificweather.com. Uh, Lexter put together a great little article that kind of details what is expected and what has occurred with this system. Now again, as it goes through the Kanto Plain tonight, uh, we do have some weather warnings in effect. Uh, highlighted there in red, pretty much summarizes the heavy rain, flood, storm, and high wave warnings that are in effect. And we're going to continue to monitor this over the uh, remainder of Tuesday and into Wednesday morning. Now, as we get into Wednesday morning, this is uh, as this is the GFS model at 9 a.m. local time there in Japan. Uh, the center of circulation, or the remnant low of Newell, races off uh, to the north right now at this time, expecting it just off to the east of um, Hokkaido. And what that's going to bring is pretty gusty winds as well as rain showers across the entire area of Hokkaido and northern Honshu. Now this does continue to move off pretty quickly. That low continues to decay. This is uh, Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Just some remnant showers there along northern portions of Hokkaido before this storm races off to the northeast and gets caught up there in the Bering Sea. Now I do want to turn our attention uh, next to this uh, area of disturbed weather this is a severe tropical storm dolphin here in the Mary or in the uh, in Mer in Micronesia excuse me um, latest satellite imagery we do have that cold dense overcast now over the past couple hours seems like that convection is beginning to pulsate a little bit but uh, as, as apparent from the uh, cirrus clouds there across the south we do have good outflow with this system, or at least on the southern side of this storm. Uh, light wind shear, and really what we're going to be seeing over the next few days is a westward motion along the southern periphery of the subtropical ridge. Now, as of uh, 10 p.m. local time, the center of circulation was 345 kilometers north of Palakir there in Pompeii, or just under 1,500 kilometers off to the east-southeast of Guam. It is moving slowly west. Winds are uh, sustained at 100 kilometers per hour with gusts up to 150, and our pressure down to 985 hectopascal. Now, currently, we only have a tropical storm watch in effect for Fananu there in Chuuk State, um, anticipating those tropical storm conditions possible there in the next 48 hours. Uh, Yuliul, they're off a little to the west there. Um, keep keep note, uh, keep an eye out, because we would anticipate you may be getting into a tropical storm watch here fairly soon. Looks like these two locations seem to be a little bit to the south of the track, but um, still it is you know worth keeping an eye on could get some gusty winds out of this system as it passes through, especially with the meandering track that it has been going on. A minor deviation in track could increase the risk for you all out there. Uh, this is the satellite loop across the Western Pacific. Um, again, we see Newell rapidly getting caught up in this cold front kicking off to the northeast. Um, here's Dolphin continuing to develop up subtropical ridge off to the north and that again is going to really be driving the forward track with this system here's the JMA analysis from 6C uh, again this is going to be basically skirting along the southern periphery of the high as we get midway through the, the forecast period about the time it gets into Guam a cold front will break down that ridge give us a little bit of a weakness and that will help round the storm off to the northwest. This is reflected in the JMA forecast. Again, taking it off to the northwest, affecting Guam, and then you start to see that poleward pull, uh, taking this more northwesterly or closer, you know, to north-northwesterly there. Um, 
And again, this is just a breakdown in the ridge as well as the subtropical ridge building. So um, in terms of intensification, near term should be about standard, uh, you know, one T number per day, what you would see climatologically. This still puts Guam at risk. Now here's the JTWC forecast for those that are a little more familiar with this product. Right now looking at 80 knots with gusts up to 100 uh, knots there in and around Guam. If this, you know, if this verifies, of course, any deviations, that's going to completely change this. Now, about the time we get through Guam, we should start to see the storm rapidly intensify, or possibly rapidly intensify, just with the uh, the warm waters out there, low wind shear, as well as the outflow, supposed to be very favorable. Um, and this is pretty unusual with uh, Westpac storms, especially when we get beyond. Uh, uh, beyond the Marianas. Now, it does recurve after this, looking at the long-range forecast. So this does not appear to be a threat to the Philippines. This is going to be more of a northern track. And again, really should recurve off shortly. Basically, uh, looking at the global models, really this is going to be a recurving system. So interest in Japan. We'll need to monitor this. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be a particular factor, but it, it's worth monitoring. Here's the... Uh, uh, conglomeration of all the Western Pacific uh, advisory centers out there and again pretty good agreement through everybody just showing that threat to Guam before it starts to recurve. Now keep it tuned here to westernpacificweather.com uh, for not only null updates as well as dolphin updates and, and other analyses across the Western Pacific. You can also um, tune over to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter where we do post information there. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day and take care.